But the Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for one am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake, I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. Tell me, sister. I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth. The girl's been running her mouth. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. care of the Muiri contract. There will be plenty more, I promise you. When I next meet that fair maiden, I'll plunge my life into her belly. Ah, another member of the Hello, hello! So very good to meet you. So polite, so nice. Cicero likes you. The Night Mother is sure to like you too. Oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was desecrated. The Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as keeper. What? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, oh, oh you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> you, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And... Killed them <laughs> in his honor. Hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. He is the void. Cicero takes care of our lady's body. 
oils it, preserves it, keeps it safe. Make sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see, the night mother. I keep her clean and protected and <laughs> happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> there is no listener. Not yet. But someday, someday, someday. Day, I pray that one will come to hear her say the words. <laughs> oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Of course, our lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. But inside the listener's head, I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our lady has not chosen Cicero, and certainly not Astrid, or anyone. But someday. Stay safe.